happy when you get a bit of food on your face. <laughs> Just get the lunch off, guys, before we start. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Your hats keep soaking me in the face. I don't know. Welcome back guys Hi to guys. another episode. Welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the buttons, you know how to do it. Well you don't know if you like this video yet, but if you decide that you do, please like. This episode we lose our anchor. So this is all we have left. I was pulling the anchor out this morning and the anchor just snapped. I was like, oh my gosh, what just happened? And then I was like, dad, the anchor's gone. And he didn't believe me. Do we get it back? Let's go find out. Let's find out. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. We're just pulling anchor and the anchor snapped and we've lost our anchor. The chain snapped. Yeah, just the chain. Uh, guys, um, our anchor, our something just snapped and we've lost our anchor. Drop the tender end. Yeah, we're doing the same. We'll be over shortly. Thanks, guys. Is that coming in? Are you drifting? Yeah, and uh, we didn't have our GPS wouldn't turn on and uh, we couldn't mark the spot, so um, I think he's trying to stay in the same spot, but I don't know. Okay, fair enough, we'll be there shortly. Thank you. Wow. That chain must be no good. It was rough. I got like a metre up and the wave went like, as soon as oh, I took the, the shackle chain. off. It's the chain, it's not, um, not the joint. Yeah, Matt, you got a copy. Yeah, mate. Yeah, have you got your sounder in your boat? circle back over and I'll give you the mark where it come off um, there should be a lot of chain out like it snapped pretty much near the end so yeah it just must be dodgy chain that um, stuff we got Just woken up, we're rolling around and um, we went to pull our anchor in and the chain just snapped. So we did get given another chain, which obviously isn't test, uh, and it snapped like two metres from the end of it. So we've got about 80 metres out um, and there's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've got a whole team, rescue team. lost our steering, um, now we've lost our anchor, um, I, I'm really struggling to give the guys a reference point here because our Simrad keeps turning off, so, um, oh that is a trifecta, yeah, so I was wondering what the third thing was, usually all things happen in threes they say, this keeps freezing and turning off on me, I managed to just get an MOB in the spot, um, and yeah, the sound of froze, so I'm hoping that's the right spot. I've got 80 metres of chain out, so, or oh, 85 metres of chain out, so there should be quite a long run of chain running out into the, about 20 metres, 25 metres of water. What a day, I just hope we can find our anchor. I kept the old chain, so the reason I switched out the chain was the chain we had wasn't running through the gypsy properly. We had two different size 10 mil chains. Um, but this obviously mustn't be test and it snapped right at the boat. So, no good. Right, so we're gonna see if we can find our, our anchor and our anchor chain. I don't know if it's just these guys, but we always have drama when we're with 
Can you make a bet? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> when you're with what? We can do. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. right. If you, wa if you watched we're, our we're, channel, we're you leaving. know that's not true. We've <laughs> 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 only had two beers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a problem. <laughs> We've got an amazing rescue team here. Dodgy tiller arm here. <sighs> Sailing, hey. In old boats. I'm gonna build myself a new cat, I think. So this is all we have left. I was pulling the anchor out this morning, like I do most times, and uh, I was pulling it up. I pulled it about two meters, and then I was undoing the snobber thing which we lost so now it's just rope and then I got back up and I was like oh because dad always says don't pull it anchor while it's going like straining on it so I waited for a second and then we went up and the anchor just snapped I was like oh my gosh what just happened and then I was like dad the anchor's gone and he's like oh you broke the anchor winch I'm like no the whole chain is gone <laughs> And he didn't believe me. And they came up and he's like, oh no, pass me the iPad. <laughs> See, this is what we were doing. We went like that. We came down and then we went up one more big time and then it went. The search continued for our lost anchor chain and anchor. We had two dinghies, two divers and a drag line all looking for 80 metres of chain and a 60 pound Manson Supreme anchor that we did not want to leave here without. Perfect. Now I found an anchor joiner. So if we find the anchor, I can put our old chain back together. Okay. We shouldn't have turned that anchor watch off, Bella, because that showed the track. Didn't even think of that. No, I know we both didn't. We lost our track that the anchor chain would have been on. Bummer. Not much has gone well for Catal for these last 24 hours. And we'll keep persevering. Might try and get a on the bell as watch your head when you pop up bell. Um, Another five metres that way from where you are. What way do you want me to go under? And I was at five metres or four metres the boat was in. After not having any luck freediving, Matt got his hooker with the tank so I could have a better, longer look. So, and I'm in three metres now for four metres. So this is where the boat was. So sort of where you guys are, maybe that way, a couple of metres and in between there and there should be. Yeah, sort of from where I am to where that boy is and maybe say five metres or six metres. And my second dive with the tank, I found the end of the chain. We <laughs> found it. I was getting real distracted. All those little worms were coming out. I was looking at the little worms, and then I, and then I just looked up, and there's the chain. I was like, oh! <laughs> Perseverance and help from our mates, our chain was recovered. Now to pull it up without breaking it again. Okay to do a run along the chain, tied something to the anchor. Broken once. Oh no, it could go again. It's... Yeah, you're gonna haul back the hook. Um I'm just gonna tie it off for now. I've got another chain I'm gonna feed yeah. back in and then I'll come up to where we can join in it. And um What's that floats not around our boat? You don't want that wrapped in your prop or something? <laughs> <laughs> Just add to it, why not? <laughs> yeah, it might as well. Third thing, hey? No, it's the trifecta. It's a rudder, sounder, chain. Oh good, you're going to count the sound. I'm counting it. <laughs> <laughs> Another burst forward, Bella. Pull the rudder to the centre. Righto, hold her there. Well, it wouldn't 
wouldn't surprise me if it's snap again, pal. Jeez, we're lucky we didn't end up on the beach. down I had a couple of dives couldn't find anything and then I was just went along the edge and I saw all these little worms sticking up they were quite cute and I kind of forgot about looking and there it was <laughs> straight in front of us we're so lucky because we come in with 40 knots plus we um, recorded last night we're probably lucky we didn't end up on the shore um, it's not a reefy shoreline I don't think but nevertheless you don't want to end up on the shore Look, so far so good I'm gonna have to put our old chain back on so we just got this chain that fitted our gypsy better and uh, it's obviously not in test and it's rubbish. As the steering snapped, we went into the wind and we were halfway through reefing anyway. But if we had have turned that way into the wind, it means the boom would have stayed out here and the boat would have been pointing into the wind and all the pressure 40 knots would have been on this little preventer line. And so it just would have went snap, swung around and that's how you bring your rig down. So it, it was so it was smooth. I was like, we went around. I was focusing on that, and then we got that in. I was like, all right, it's just like we're heaved to here. Like we're just sitting nicely, yeah. and we just slowly done each reef as, as we went. And picking heart was going though. After connecting the chain, we pulled it in. Lee removed the chain joiner. Pulled the crappy chain onto the deck and we put the original chain back in the anchor locker. Back to where it started. Emergency chain link here. flat and that holds it together and we've had this in 40 knots of wind swinging off the chain and it's been fine. It's our third one, fourth one we've put on. anchor for the second time that morning. It was pretty rough and rolly and close to shore so we wanted to move to stiller waters. As much as we would have liked to have moved anchorages to fix the steering, we decided to stay put and try and fix it here in Kilo. sold one problem this morning we still had to deal with our steering issue so we end up getting our anchor chain back and now the next thing's our steering that snapped yesterday all right guys what a bloody ripper of an episode we got the anchor back and uh we'll now he's got to fix the steering but we'll leave that till next week if you decided that you did like it in the end then please press that like button and if you haven't already subscribe out the website guys jump over there check it out www.sailingcatalpa.com you can become a patron or a mate or go see what either of those things is all about till next time guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next week see you guys bye, bye.